bum, bum, da 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 bum, bum, da. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back or to the Roomies Digest. In today's video, we are going to be doing my March bullet journal plan with me video. And of course, it is a couple days after the first of the month, so I'm thinking I'm going to try and get these videos out a little bit sooner in the next couple of months, but of course, you know, life gets busy and this is just how it's going to be this month. So if you guys couldn't already tell, I am doing an orange theme this month and I laughed out loud when I saw my friend Rachel from Let Me in the Library. Her bullet journal uh, theme last month was peaches and I was like, wow, I already had this plan to do this orange thing and it's going to seem like a big copycat situation, but that is okay. Great minds think alike and I think Rachel will agree with me. So anyway, I decided to do this kind of like orange color and as you guys know, I have never taken a color theory class in my life, so I always have to experiment with the colors a little bit. I knew that I wanted to do kind of like a brighter orange with a pale and darker blue as accents for the leaves. So that is what I decided to do for my theme of the month and also my March cover page. Moving on, I decided to kind of go with the same sort of layout that I've been doing for the past two months, and that is basically just to start off with the accent of whatever the theme is kind of surrounding the page in each of these pages, and starting off with a tiny calendar that will keep up with all the readathon dates, all of the buddy reads that I'm doing, um, a loose TBR, important other dates, things like that. Now I did make the mistake here, as you guys just heard me say, I've never taken a color theory class in my life. I thought this blue was the same as the light blue that I used in the previous page, and it's not. I used it once. I learned it wasn't cute. I'm not using it for the rest of this bullet journal spread. On the right hand side, I just have a list of all the things that I'm going to be doing this month. And if you guys watch our TBR videos, you know that Monique and I like to overcommit ourselves a little bit, but you know, we just like to be involved. We just want to do as much as we can with everyone that we can. So that is my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But of course, on the right hand side, I've got my readathons, my read-alongs, my buddy reads, my live shows, and then important dates will go on the left-hand side as they become apparent. On the left-hand side here with my calendar, if you guys didn't notice already, I definitely drew out too many days. I started off with eight days in the week, and as we all know, there are not eight days in a week. So I had to use my handy dandy whiteout, which, you know, whiteout is your best friend. So why not just embrace it? That's going to be my policy. As far as the colors for this month, there are a lot of colors going on. 
You guys know I like to color coordinate everything, so we are hosting the Tinkerbell Readathon with a bunch of other booktubers. I'll have that information linked below, but I am color coordinating that with the kind of like green Tinkerbell color. And then I also participated in the Cars Readathon, which was hosted by a bunch of other cool booktubers. I will link all that information below as well and decided to have those dates marked with like kind of like a darker red, like car -y color. And then the rest of the things on this right hand side that are color coordinated, that will coincide with the specific TBR chart that I am going to be doing on the next page. As you guys can kind of see, I've got my TBR laid out on the left hand side here, and that is going to be the same style of TBR that I usually do, which is just a list of all the books that I'm reading this month. And then on the right hand side, I'm doing a new spread, which is a readathon prompts spread. I thought it would be helpful to have all of the readathon prompts as well as kind of like what book I should be reading for the readathon just to keep up with everything. The Tinkerbell readathon is a larger readathon. We're reading, I believe, nine books including the group read. So it's just a lot to keep up with. So I figured I might as well just use a separate spread for that. And then below, I'm also going to be including a couple of prompts from the Cars Readathon just to keep up with that. Tinkerbell Readathon actually also has extra challenges, like extra prompts. So I will be listing those below the normal readathon prompts as well. I really like listing everything out and putting boxes beside it because it gives me a nice list that I can look at. I'm a visual person and I really love checking things off. Like, I don't know if it is the Virgo in me, but something about having a list and checking it twice, I really enjoy doing that. That fulfills something in me. So most of my spreads are kind of made in that fashion. So then on the left hand side, like I said, I am going to be doing my TBR and as always guys, you know I have a long, long TBR list. In the past, I've written out the book names as well as the author names, but for some reason today I just did not feel like doing that. So we just have all the titles of all the books that I'm going to be hopefully reading this month. I like to color coordinate these books with the corresponding colors on the previous page, so I will fill those in in just a second. And then of course, in case I do have extra time, I do have the extra books that I will be trying to get to if I complete the majority of my TBR. I don't see that happening this month, but it could, who knows? It could be a miracle situation, so we will see. So here I am just filling in all of the colors for every book that I'm going to be reading. I just really love this color coordination because like I said, I'm a visual. So I like to know, you know, am I going to be buddy reading this with my mom, with Nicole Lee, with Emily? Like, what am I doing? Is this for the Tinkerbell readathon, Cars readathon? I just like to know. It also kind of helps me keep it together when it comes to dates because I know, okay, the Cars readathon ends before the Tinkerbell readathon. So that means all of those books need to be read before I start reading the books for the Tinkerbell readathon. Makes sense in my head and uh, and so that's why I do it. And then here I'm just kind of doing the same leaf situation, kind of like a leafy border. Don't ask me why I decided to do the leaves in blue. I really don't know guys. I just thought it looked cute and I like it. So that's what we're doing. Moving on to the March wrap up double page spread. I'm actually moving this spread closer to the TBR list and that is because last month I kept having to flip between checking off books from the TBR and then writing 
you know, the star rating and kind of like the wrap up about it. And it just was a lot to flip back and forth. So I decided to move this up a little bit and we'll see how it goes this month. But I think this is gonna make it a lot easier for me to keep up with these two spreads together. Of course, in the March wrap up, I am going to be listing the title and author of the book, when I'm reading it, where I'm reading it, how I'm reading it, the number of pages and the star rating, as well as in the bottom right hand corner, the totals for the month. Now this spread, as well as the TBR calendar, TBR chart, and a couple other spreads that I use throughout, I have gotten from my friend Noelle Seven Pages. I will link her booktube down below. So definitely head over there and watch her bullet journal setups. She has really great organizational skills and I would not have such a nice bullet journal without her. So moving on, as you guys can see, I am doing the Instagram and YouTube tracker spread. I like to keep up with this just because I like to know numbers. Like I, I like to know where we are at, at the beginning of the month, at the end of the month, what's working, what's not. This double page spread also kind of serves as an idea page of when I'm going to be posting things via each platform. It's a lot to keep up with social media and I'm sure if you guys are also on Bookstagram, like BookTok, BookTube, like it's just a lot to make sure that you're posting all the time and engaging with people and trying to be a part of the community so this definitely helps me keep it all straight. I like to put the numbers at the top with our goals and when we reach those goals. And then on the bottom part of this spread, I like to put the posting ideas. So the tentative name of the video, the date that I want to post, as well as on the right hand side, the filming, editing, thumbnail and upload schedule for YouTube videos. Moving on to the next double page spread, it's going to be a TikTok tracker on the left hand side or a book talk tracker, whichever one you call it. And then of course, the lovely brain dump page. I absolutely love brain dump pages. It gives me a space where I can literally just brain dump whatever I'm thinking about and not have to have a space for it. I will say that my camera definitely stopped recording. So you guys are gonna have to see the end of that spread at the end of this video. I'm really sorry, but sometimes technology hates me and that is the gospel truth. So the next spread that I am working on is my favorite line spread, which as you guys know, I also modified this from Noel Seven Pages, but basically this is a space where I can write down my favorite lines from everything that I'm reading in the month. And Noel does it with a line a day, and I just like to write down the lines that I like so I can have multiple lines from a book or no lines from a book, it doesn't really matter, but this is one of my favorite spreads in my bullet journal, and it helps me make that cute favorite line post on our bookstagram at the end of each month. So it helps me keep up with that. So I am doing something a little bit different this month. I decided to do weekly spreads for the month. I tried doing this thing where I had like a normal bullet journal in the front of my bullet journal and in the back I just kind of had a reading journal. And I am quickly realizing that it is a lot to make different spreads for all of that. So I decided to just make weekly spreads for each week of this month. So as you can see, I've got March 4th through the 6th on the left hand side because that's when I made my journal. And then on the right hand side, I have the 7th through the 13th and just continued on with kind of like the orange theme of this spread. I've got a separate space for each day of the week as well as a tiny space for a to-do list at the bottom left hand corner. Now the next spread that I'm gonna be leaving blank here is going to be space for the next couple of weeks. I didn't want to draw them out just yet because I wasn't sure exactly how the spread was going to work because if this spread from this week doesn't work as well, then I'm definitely going to try and switch it up in the future. So I just wanted to leave those pages blank until I come to those weeks and can fill them in myself. 
So if you guys are interested in that, you'll just have to wait until the bullet journal for April and you can see the flip through then. On the right hand side across from the last weekly spread in March, this is going to be my growing TBR page. Now in the past, I've kind of called this page like book suggestions, but basically it is where I have the title and the author of the book and I have the person that has suggested that book to me. So if that's via a booktube video or if somebody says, hey, I think you'd really like this book, you should try it. This is the space for that. I make one every month and it fills up pretty quickly. I really like this page. And finally, I am moving on to my book spreads. I am starting the month off with Six of Crows. And of course, I had to draw a little crow as a little tribute to the cover of Six of Crows. I like to make little spreads for all of the books that I'm going to be reading. Now, sometimes I don't do all of the books. It just kind of depends if I know that I'm going to have a lot of thoughts about the book. And I know for a fact that I'm going to have a lot of thoughts about Six of Crows. So I went ahead and made a spread for that. As I move through the month and read more books, I will add more drawings, as you guys can probably tell from the beginning of this video, to this part of my bullet journal. And now for the final flip through. guys and that is the end of this video so please if you like this video give it a like for me comment down below if you happen to bullet journal yourself subscribe if you want to support me and Monique on this channel and turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss another video from us and until our next video I'll see you guys next time